Hey y'all, it's Lisa and welcome to Our Gray House where I share DIYs and inspo for home, food, and travel all on a budget. So if you enjoyed that too, be sure and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications so YouTube will notify you every time I upload a video. And now, let's just get into the DIY. Today's project is a decor piece for my laundry room and I'm using seven of these Dollar Tree signs and yes, they are they are fall signs, but they were in my stash and I like to craft from my stash when I can. So just hot gluing these together and then I'll hot glue them all together to make one big sign. Now I'm taking Rust-Oleum's chalked paint, chalked ultramat paint in the color linen white. You guys know it is my absolute favorite. That and the charcoal, I just, I love those colors. I just think they're, they're great basics. Anyway, I'm giving it two generous coats and using my heat gun to kind of dry it off in between coats. I found this sticker at the Dollar Tree. It says wash, fold, dry, repeat. And at the top of the sticker, it kind of shows you how they suggest that you lay it out. And I thought it looked pretty cute. So I thought I would do that too. And now I'm just putting all the stickers down, making sure that it looks like I want it to. And then I'm taking off the stickers. Now the thing about the stickers is they have a shiny, they're, they're shiny still. So they kind of stand out from your matte paint if you've used a matte paint to for your sign. It's gonna kind of stand out a little bit. So I'm gonna go back, I'm trying to burnish those down really well so that it blends in as much as possible. And then I'm going back with some Mod Podge and covering over it to make the whole sh whole shine, whole sign shiny. And now I'm trying to distress it a little bit. And I think on the left side there, no, the right side, <laughs> the right side of the sign looks a little empty, a little bare. So I tried to take some of these rub-on transfers that I got from the Dollar Tree, and I thought, oh, I'm gonna make like a little vine going down the side. I don't know why I thought a vine would work there, but you know, it's like adding some greenery basically. I end up not doing that and I, although I think the greenery would, would have looked cute, but it just wasn't, wasn't giving me enough oomph that I wanted for my project. I decide to string seven beads onto some jute twine and I alternate a small one, then a large one, small, large. So I have a small on each end and then the large in between, just kind of alternating. And then I wrap the jute twine several times around the sign to give it a little bit more substance, I guess. And then I finish it off and hot glue it to the back so that it stays. And be careful not to burn myself. <laughs> and that's it. That's how the sign turned out. And this is how it turned out. And I think it turned out pretty darn cute. And I love that I added the beads because I do feel it adds a little bit to it without being overpowering or anything like that. And I think if I had left it with the little green rub on leaves, it just would, you wouldn't have noticed it as much. And so I paired it with two glass containers. One has clothespins in it and one has laundry detergent in it. And then of course my little lavender plant in my jute rope container to finish it off. I think it turned out great. Let me know in the comments what you guys think and if you would have done something different on the side there instead of the beads. Thank you all so much for watching my video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, there's two more videos you can watch right here. I mean, I feel like I'm doing some sort of dance. But anyway, if you want to follow me on here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life though because that's creepy. Bye!